EU wants to be world champion in renewables and in the fight against climate change. But even so, investments in renewables are falling. The last five years they have more than halved, from 112 billion euro to 54 billion. Despite this major fall, EU Energy Commissioner Maro Sefcovic assures that Europe is well on track to meet the energy objectives for 2020, where the EU is set to cut greenhouse gas emissions by 20% and to make sure that 20% of energy comes from renewables. We will achieve and I believe we will overachieve these targets because if it comes, for example, to the reduction of the greenhouse gas emission already today, uh, we are about the target by 2%. The commissioner did conclude, however, that much more investments are needed to reach the long-term targets up until 2030, where emissions are to be reduced by 40% and the level of renewables should reach 27%. For this, Europe needs to invest 379 billion euro per year. That is seven times the current level. So it's a lot of money. And it's quite clear that this cannot be financed by the public budget only, that we need to mobilize the financial investors. We need to create business cases uh, for the pension funds, uh, for financial institutions uh, to invest in uh, this uh, sector. In the European Parliament, some MEPs did raise concerns this week about the lack of investments, one of them being Swedish liberal Fredrik Fedele. He also called on the EU to raise the targets for renewables for 2030, arguing that the cost for achieving this has come down since 2012, when they were initially estimated. Since 2012 up till today, there has been almost a revolution when it comes to costs for renewables. I think that there is some room for, for maneuver when it comes to raising uh, the, the 27%. At the Brussels office of Greenpeace, they call on the EU to move towards 100% renewables as quickly as possible, which they think is needed in order to fight climate change in line with the UN commitment agreed upon in Paris. Concerning investments, Greenpeace concludes that other major players have indeed boosted their investments, while the European ones have been slashed. Although Sefcovic likes to say that Europe wants to be the number one in renewables, at the moment it looks like China and the US might overtake them.